We're right where we need to be at. You know, those games, you could easily lose that you win sometimes or that you lose you winning sometimes. So it's like a small margin of getting in. It's playoff time. You know, we just got to go out there with the mindset and go do it. Hand off Dalvin. Gets to the 50. Sunday is your first home playoff game that you'll be playing in. What do you think the atmosphere is going to be like? It's going to be crazy. Um, the stage has been set. Like We done set the temperature for what's about to happen. You know, come Sunday, you know, we've been playing good ball all year, so we expect that to you know, transfer over to you know, the postseason. You know, it's going to be nothing different. Just going to be a little more electric. Um, it's going to be crazy. Man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm just trying to hold my emotions together. Definitely. You know, electric is, is a great word to describe it. However, Giants offensive lineman Nick Gates this week talked about playing at US Bank Stadium on Christmas Eve, and I'm going to read you what he said. I don't know if you've heard this yet. Surprise, I actually thought it would be a lot louder. But you know, they're Midwest people. They're too nice. What's your reaction to that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, I don't know what that means, but they still got to show up on Sunday and you know, play the Minnesota Vikings. So, you know, all the you know, postcards and all the, the statements and the interviews and stuff. Not going to win a football game. Blitz. Got him! DJ Wanham! You know, we know what it takes to go win a football game in the crunch time. You know, whatever time it is, we, we know how to go win a football game. And, you know, that just adds to, you know, just a little more motivation to why we're going to get this win Sunday. The second time you're facing the Giants in three weeks, what are the advantages of that? Well, we we familiar with each other. Um, we we know what to expect. We are familiar with the guys. You know, one on one matchups. Um, you know what they're going to present on defense and offense. So it's a it's a familiar territory. But you know, doing it twice is always you know hard to do. But mm -hmm. it's it's bittersweet when you do it. So we just got to lock in and go get the job done. On that note, what would be the disadvantages? I think we have none. To be honest. Nice. Um, I, like, I love this team, man. Um, Everything that we we put on tape is kind of hard to present. Um, you know, the smart coaching staff and the smart players we got, you know, we're going to go out and execute, but I'm just looking forward to something fun on Sunday. You'll have a lot of fun against the Giants defense who blitzes over 44% of the time. What do you guys need to do to keep up the offensive momentum? Yeah, we know we we facing. Like I said, we, we got blitz 50% of the time last time we played them, man. So we just gotta go make, we gotta go take care of our, our chances when we get them. Now they're gonna blitz us, we know it's coming. Uh, we gotta be locked in and, and be ready to pick some of those blitzes up so Kirk is standing there and make some plays downfield. Walks it to the end zone, TJ Hawkinson, yes! You've played in every game this season for the first time. How are you feeling heading into this week 18 game? New season, new me, um, fresh and ready to roll, recharged. It's time to go. Stutter steps, bounces left. Three, two, one. Touchdown! Dalvin Cook came to play today. Well, this is your fourth 1,000 yard season. And in the Giants game last time, you passed Chuck Foreman for third in all time rushing. Uh, within this franchise, what does it mean to be able to rewrite some of Vikings football history? It means a lot. Um, you know, this organization took a chance on me, just a kid from Miami. Um, and to bring me, you know, all the way up here and just give me a chance to, to play the game I love, you know, and to be in history, all that means a lot to me. How do you not just say, Dalvin, it's you against this defense. Let's go. To come in and be productive and to be the guy that they know they drafted and even more. So to continue on to that, you know, just to keep, you know, add to, you know, the franchise list and every list that I can add to in every category is always, is always good. And off the field, you've helped with the Minnesota Vikings Foundation a lot, especially Vikings Table. And I've got this shirt that they're uh, selling right now. Yeah. And this, the proceeds go to Vikings Table. Yeah. You, you're helping with this. Why is it so important for you to continue to give back to the community, especially this community? Yeah, given the opportunity to you know, show my love and you know how much you know, this community and the people mean to me. The Vikings Table is, you know, more sore towards the kids and stuff like that. So, 
like I said, I was one of those kids one day to have an opportunity to meet Dalvin Cook or to, you know, to just to be around an a NFL player. You know, it was always a dream of mine. So for me to, you know, help, you know, inspire a kid or to just help a kid, you know, I'm always here, open arms, open ears, whatever, just to just to be that, you know, that guy to say they did it. You know, I I love being in the position I am. So you know, like I said, I'm gonna pour my heart into it. Now you're one of those veterans in the locker room. You have playoff experience, but several of the guys in there have never been in an NFL postseason before. What do you plan on telling them this week to make sure they're ready for Sunday? Just more so of showing them. Um, mm -hmm. Come game day, you know, I'm going to give my speech to the guys and tell them you know, how I feel and you know, the type of day it's going to be. But just more so of showing them the preparation we got to have, the, the laser focus we got to have, the walkthrough and the meetings and on the field. So just more of my preparation and showing them you know, how we got to get ready to go win a football game in the playoffs is, is going to be more important. How much ahead of time do you think about what you're going to say in your speech to the guys? I really don't at all. Yeah. Um, you know, I go up there and I just give them guys my heart. Right? Or whatever guys will for me to say to those guys, you know, I say it and I don't hold back to those guys because they know everything that I'm saying, you know, is meaningful and I, and I mean it from my heart. The North is on, you hear me? Okay. Win on three, win on three. One, two, three. Win. Go!